Hello and welcome to the all new Zygote Body 2.0. This video is to give an overview of all the features available. Zygote Body 2.0 has all the features that you've become accustomed to in Zygote Body 1.0, or Google Body as it was first known. It remains an easy and interactive way to study and learn about the human body. When you first log into Zygote Body 2.0, you're presented with the female anatomy model. The free version has the female model and the male model in their entirety. The premium version has a few new models, like the lateral cut heart. And this is a model of our high resolution heart that has been sliced so you can get a better picture of the inside. We have three different heart cuts. We also have a high resolution eye, so you can study the eye in far more detail. And we have my favorite new part, the articulating skull. This is a model of our high resolution skull, but it has been broken up into all the individual bones, so they can all be picked separately. So this way you can quickly and easily learn all the bones of the skull. The premium version also allows you to remove the figure's clothing. And we'll be adding more and more models as time goes by, so let us know what you'd like to see. On our left here we have the slider that we've always had where you can quickly and easily scroll through all the different layers of anatomy of the model that you have in your scene. You could also change modes down at the bottom to system modes so that you now have a slider for each individual system. And this way you can turn on certain systems and leave other systems off and get exactly what you want to see on the screen. Each anatomical part in Zygo body is individually named and pickable. When you pick on any part, you're presented with the name of that object, as well as a few new tools. On the left, you have the arrow. When you click on that arrow, a drop-down comes up that shows you a little bit more about that particular part, as well as a link to the Wikipedia where we got that information. To the right of the name, we have the zoom tool. This centers and zooms in on any part that you have selected. Next to that we have the visibility tool and this will remove any part from your scene. So any part that I click on I can make invisible. To the right of that we have the pin tool and the pin tool simply allows you to have more than one name up on your scene at once. And finally we have the X which simply unselects or removes the pin. Now there's a couple different ways to remove items from your scene. As I showed you, if we click on an item, we click on the visibility tool, it disappears. You can also hold down the control button on your keyboard and click. And rather than pick those items, it makes them disappear. Now the difference between control clicking an item and using the visibility tool is that control clicking is much less permanent. Meaning now if I click anywhere else in my scene, all the items that I control clicked will come back, but the items that I made disappear using the visibility tool remain invisible until I click on unhide all up here on the right. Zygote has also developed a number of new and exciting tools for premium users. Premium users besides having no ads have access to the following tools. Over on your right you see the tools bar and here we have a number of different tools. We have the slice tool, which allows you to do cross-sections of your model and interactively change where that cross-section occurs. You can do a lateral cross-section, top to bottom, or front to back, and interactively change where that cross-section happens. You have the Explode tool, and this basically takes all the models in your scene and moves them away from a central point. And that central point, you can also interactively move around. Now, we're not really sure what the practical use for this is, but it's just really fun to use. And lastly you have the quiz tool. And the quiz tool is a great way for learning anatomy. Because as you click on an item, rather than telling you what it is, it gives you a multiple choice. And if you click on the right item, it says correct. If you click on the wrong item, it says incorrect. It tells you what the name really was. So you can see how you can quickly and easily study human anatomy this way. Up from tools we have annotations. Many people have asked for this tool. Annotations allows you to quickly and easily make notes or annotations. 
If you click create, a little dialog box appears with a little leader line. You could put that leader line wherever you want and you can type in anything you want to say about what you have selected. So you can see how quickly and easily you can make notes while you're listening to a lecture or copy and paste things that you've found on the internet or whatever you want to do to help your studying of the human anatomy. When you minimize these, they become little dots. You could then click on at a later time, or you can delete them. Up from annotations, we have the hierarchy. And this is basically a list of all the models that you have in your scene. And you can interactively go through and turn them on and off right here. You could also open them up to see them by sections, or even open up those sections and see every single individual part and turn them on and off accordingly. Now this comes in handy if you're trying to get a scene with just the parts that you're trying to study. So if I turn off all the muscles, actually I'm going to turn off everything except the skeleton and the diaphragm. And there you go. Quickly and easily you can get into your scene exactly what you want. Now we have the scenes, my scenes and the zygote scenes. My scenes is a way to save your scenes. So anything that I have in my scene, any annotations that I've made, uh, the angle of my camera, everything about my scene will be saved when I save my scene. In Zygote Scenes, we have a bunch of scenes that Zygote has made to help you study anatomy. If we open up the foot bone landmarks, you'll be presented with all the bones of the foot as well as a bunch of annotations that we've made that show all the different landmarks for those particular bones. So if you click on any of those annotations, you can learn the names of those particular parts. And we'll be adding to these as time goes by. Another great feature of the premium version is the ability to change how you navigate around your scene. By default, and in the free version, you have capsule mode. And in capsule mode, when you click and drag on your screen, the models are rotated around a vertical axis. You can move them up and down and around a vertical axis. In orbit mode, you're able to rotate your models in any axis. You're also able to hold down the control key and move your camera. This way, you can focus in on exactly what it is you're trying to study. The final feature for premium users is the ability to take a snapshot of your screen. The little icon in the top center of your screen We'll make a little JPEG of whatever you have on your screen. And you can save this JPEG or you can use the included tools to draw right on your screen. Take little notes or whatever you want to do and then save that as a JPEG. So there you have it. We're very excited about this new release of Zygobody 2.0. We hope that you find the tools very useful and we'd love to hear from you if there are other tools that you would like to see in the future.